We all shine on, like the moon, the stars, and the sun, held in infinite space. May the spirits of the earth talk to us, sing to us, as the very orchestra, the very symphony, the very melody of our own souls. Oh, beloved Pashamama, beloved Earth, thank you for sharing your secrets with me. Thank you for nurturing me so deeply and consistently. I am within you just as you are within me. been really delicious to come into the woods recently as I've been um, spending some time in Switzerland during holidays. Um, just going deep within the forest feels like going deep within myself where I explore all the inner realms which sometimes with the noise of the city it's just harder to hear all these things, um, all these thoughts, and to be able to even understand certain emotions or certain feelings that are coming up. So it feels like the forest has been my holiday companion, and today I came out to uh, take some pictures particularly, but I've been coming here every day and actually enjoying uh, yeah, I have been enjoying doing some chanting here because I feel like there is something about being in nature that really liberates the throat, um, the self-expression, the communication with just the spirits of the earth and any sense when I'm in the city, I always feel like someone is going to hear me sing and someone is going to judge me. And I know that these are my own thoughts, right? I don't know if any of you guys can relate to this. Um, but you know, I'm always concerned whether my neighbors are going to hear me or whether I'm going to disturb someone. And I guess when I come here in the forest, I feel like I'm actually singing to Mother Earth. And I feel like I'm being sang by the universe, by God itself, and I just allow myself to be, and I allow for what needs to, for what needs to be expressed to pour throughout me, um, and I try not to overanalyze it, um, I just let it, I just let it run throughout me. I allow myself to be an instrument of grace and I allow myself to surrender to the music that wants to come out out of me. And I've just been realizing also that the more we try to overthink things when it comes to creativity and art, um, the less fun it is for ourselves, but the result is also not as miraculous and magical as it can be because we basically try to control the the outpouring of the of the essence which is wanting to express itself throughout us without limits and without without sort of our preconceived idea of what it should sound or look like. So, yeah, it's been very powerful to me um, to spend time here and commune in this beautiful, gorgeous environment. I just feel so grateful and... <sighs> and you know, I didn't always have this kind of relationship with with the nature. I. I remember there used to be a time where I was even scared of nature. I would even say I had sort of this fear of the forest, this fear of the vastness, I guess, the hmm, almost the mystery, the mystery that can be felt when you're alone in the depths 
of of nature. Um, I think that <laughs> there are always spirits around that are talking, whether it's the spirits of the earth, um, whether it's just your imagination, whether it's <laughs> listening to all these sounds that are around and it's just so hypnotizing and fascinating. Yeah. As I contemplate my relationship with the earth and with the vastness of nature, I realize that this lingering fear of nothingness was somehow connected in me to this desire to understand death and what it truly is. And while I was meditating on that, earth and the spirits of the forest told me to just let go of my understanding of birth and death as the beginning and the end and to really see it as a sacred dance, a sacred orchestra where each instrument, where each player has its entrance and has its moment of rest, has its moment of breath. Where each instrument, each player, has its beautiful entrance, has its moment of just shining and blooming and expanding, and that the best way to feel it is to really tune into all the spirits and all the wonders of the nature around us, and to let go of this wish to be remembered forever that oftentimes motivates certain of our egoic endeavors to simply leave a legacy to do something worthy and valuable and the truth is everything is valuable everything is worthy all experiences are contained within this infinite vastness of all is and the more we surrender to the nothingness the more we can actually reclaim death as a gift as a gift of transformation as a gift of metamorphosis A gift that allows us to be reborn anew each and every second. A gift that allows us to transcend our self-identity and to be welcomed in the infinite pool of energy and light glimmering and shimmering as the vastness of stellar infinity dancing in space. I thank you as always for watching and I will see you next week.